Hi, welcome to this short video on changes to the SEMA syllabus and exactly what changes you'll have at the management level. So any of you who still have management level examination spending, that would be E2, F2 or P2, this video would definitely be relevant to you. So we'll start with the module or the subject that has faced quite a bit of change at this level, E2. What I'm going to do is run you through exactly what topics were there in the 2015 syllabus and compare it with what you've got in the 2019 syllabus. And if you look at topic A, which is introduction to strategic management, which is where you would have learned about uh, development, a strategy, the rational planning model and things like that has completely been moved out of the syllabus. It's been moved to E3 and is no longer part of E2. All the other topics still remain within the syllabus where topics B and C have been merged into one topic and of course with a larger weightage where human aspects of organizations and managing relationships have been merged into managing people performance which is now 40 percent of the syllabus topic d which is managing change through projects remains in the syllabus and is, is referred to as managing projects a new topic that has come in however is business models and value creation which is completely new you the focus here is on well, as the name suggests, value creation and exactly what the ecosystem of an organization is. So something new for you to look forward to in terms of uh, this particular topic. It is going to be new. There's going to be a lot of uh, new material surrounding it and is something that you should definitely look at uh, prior to taking up your exams under the new syllabus. Moving on to the second subject or module that you've got uh, at the management level, P2, all of the topics that were there in the 2015 syllabus remain in the 2019 syllabus. So every single one of those topics, A to D, remain, right? But the only thing that we need to note here is that there is a digital spin to topics A, B and C. So exactly how technology seems to be having an impact on, on creating value and costing and investment decision making. So uh, there is a bit of a digital spin to this, but if you look at the overall topics, they still remain, they still continue. But you will need to look at a, a few areas which would be taught slightly differently. And the final subject at this particular level F2 and we do see a couple of small changes here. If you look at the 2015 syllabus, sources of long-term finance, which is topic A, remains. Financial reporting, topic B, also remains, although it's been split into two topics. What has happened, the weightage here for financial reporting has gone up slightly because all of your group accounting has been moved into F2. There is no more group accounting in F1. So all of that has been moved into F2, which slightly increases your focus on, on group accounting. So we've got two topics that now cover financial reporting. One is financial reporting standards, which works or which focuses completely on your standards, which is on financial instruments and, and uh, your share-based payments. Uh, but and then other standards but if you look at group accounts that's now a separate 25 percent of your syllabus analyzing financial statements has remained but of course with a slight digital spin to it because you're going to look at uh, data analytics here as well coming into analyzing financial statements and finally we've got a new topic and this one has been moved down from f3 and i'm referring to syllabus topic D, integrated reporting. This has been moved down from F3 to F2. And this is where you're going to focus on things like the global reporting initiative, integrated reporting, etc.
Well, those are the changes that you're going to see uh, at the management level. Hope this video was useful to you.